Hi everybody, this is another inverter that I received from from Amazon. I purchased this thing a couple couple weeks ago, about three weeks ago. And the box was bent, that's beat up. As you can tell, it's ripped. I found a screw there. I found a screw there, I don't know where it's coming from. So this is this is the inverter, this is what's in there. Let me take this thing out. Okay, take the inverter out. This is what's in the, what's in the paper, what's in the bag. Yeah, the other couple fuse. They always send them with a the fuse. And we have this unit. And you have this. This is something you just turn it on. You wish. This, this is what's just in the back. So you can plug it in and turn it on far away from the from the from the machine as long as the cable can reach and a couple fuses that's about it so now what i'm gonna do i'm going to test this inverter okay guys i'm gonna test everything on this inverter you can keep the fuse here and this is the inverter okay folks this inverter is a 3000 watt inverter 3,000 watt. I don't know why they put 6,000 watt in there. So for the peak. Um, I have this inverter before. And I tested it to the maximum. 2,000 watt. So today we're going to go do the same thing. <clears throat> because I'm shipping this inverter overseas. I'm going to make sure it works. Okay. This is 1,500 watts. We're going to turn it on to 1,500 watts. Okay. And also we have this. This heater, we got this heater. Let me turn this thing off. The heater on the back, somewhere there, it says 15. Somewhere there, guys. It says 15,000, 1500 watt. Okay. Hey, you can have it. There we go. Let's see. 15, 1500 watts. So 1500 watts plus 1500 watts, that gives you, that gives you how much? 3000 watts. So I'm going to have those two things blasted on the inverter and see, probably let it, let it run for at least three to five minutes. But I have tested this before. So let's see what's happening right now, guys. So I'm going to go to the garage where the 48 volt vault battery is. This is a 48 volt battery, 48 volt inverter. I'm going to take this thing to the garage and run it. Let's see how long you take, how long it lasts. If it's produced 3,000 watt. I have a previous video where I, I overloaded this. I don't think this past 6,000 6, watt. I did overload it. It's messed up pretty bad. So now he's producing less than 100, less than 60, 60 volt. That's another video I'm trying to repair it. But this one, I'm going to go in the back, test it. Even plug plug the extension and see if the extension works. And we take it from there, folks. Okay, guys, this is the system that I have there. This is a light full battery. This is about 15 kilowatt. 50, 14 and a half is in here. 14 and a half kilowatt. I have in this inverter as well. We're giving those light you see there. And now in order to run the test, I need to plug the inverter down here. Okay, this, this is negative, this one is positive. The one on the left is positive, the one on the right is negative. So I have to plug my wires right there and test, test, test this inverter. Okay, folks, I'll probably leave this thing running for at least for, for five minutes to see what happened there. Now, let me go and plug the inverter. Okay, guys. Now, I set this system on. I know which one is positive and negative, but you never know. Always check it. If this number turns out to be, if this number then turn out to be negative, you need to switch the wires. So this is positive. This is negative, the wire, the numbers came out positive, so we, are, we got this right setting. So now I'm gonna plug everything in and see what happens. Okay, guys, the connection is done. Okay, there's negative and the negative, the positive and the negative coming to the inverter. 
Okay, this is the inverter. One thing I noticed, my previous inverter, this is not the connection that I had. That is not the connection that I had. I'll show you guys my previous inverter. Now, I'm just gonna test this. I don't think this is gonna produce 3,000 watt, you know. This is different. You can't tell me only those those two plugs can produce 3,000 watt. Well, we're about to test it. If it doesn't work, we're gonna ship it back to the to the man to the seller. Okay, Cox. This is this. We're about to do the test. I'm not sure this thing can produce 3,000 watt, but I have an inverter on. I gotta turn it off. I never used two inverters in the same system. Never done it before. I may have another video to do to show you guys that. I'm gonna shut this inverter. This inverter is off. It is off. Okay, this is what we have here. Now I'm gonna turn the power on on my inverter. I don't have a flashlight, I don't have no flashlight. Okay, folks, I'm gonna turn the inverter on. Okay, I got all the connections set. I'm gonna turn this inverter on. Right now, there's zero amperage going from this system. That's a, B, that's a BMS that I have, the JDB BMS. You're gonna put it good, they're gonna tell you what's going on on this thing here. Now let me turn the power on. The power is on. I'm at 50 to 50 volt. Okay, 120 uh, volt for the for the AC. Okay. This is different than my previous inverter. I did let me turn the light on because I have three connection there. Three connection there, the light and the heater and the gun and the heat gun. Okay. Stay focused on the machine there. Now let me turn the light on. My light is on. That light is 0.4 amp, 0.5 amp. See? And the funny thing is, on this inverter, my light is 1 amp. On this inverter, my light is 0.4 amp. What a difference. So you guys can actually see this thing live. Okay, now my light turned on. Now I'm gonna turn the heat on. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat on. This is my heater. Can you guys see both of them at the same time? Try my best, guy. It's very troublesome in the garage. I can turn this thing on. We got it, the amperage. The, it's very cold in here, but uh, because of the amperage coming out of this machine, the inverter turned on. Now the fin on the inverter turned on immediately. This is what's happening, guys. I'm taking 7 amp. 7 amp, and I'm gonna go it to the high volume. But uh, my breaker, and this thing is, I believe it's 15 amp. But well, we're gonna see if I can produce Right. You're gonna turn it to the high value. You see what I'm doing? I'm moving the heat far away. I'm turning it to the highest value. Let me show you guys. See, highest volume. And another one. This is pretty good. It's pretty good heater. If you move it, it stops itself. Now I'm taking 14 amp. Okay, 14 amp out of this machine there. That's when I'm I'm peak at. 1500 watts. Now I have the heat gun. This is 1500 watt. I'm gonna go on low first. Let's stay on this. Let me see if I can get this thing going. Sorry, guys. Okay. Push the heat gun. I'm gonna see if this thing is gonna create a problem. 14 amp. This breaker, I believe, is 30 amp. It may break. I don't know. Let's, let's see what happened there. That's on low. This is on low, guys, on low. I'm dropping to 21. Okay? Dropping to 21. No problem. Everything is running. Now I'm gonna drop this thing. I need timer though. Okay, guys. Let me give you guys for a minute. Let me pause this. I'm gonna... Okay, guys, we're starting at... 1452.
okay 1452 I bring it to the highest level 1452 I'm gonna bring it to the highest level you can see the difference here 30 years. Everything starting is too funny. Alright guys. This is not a good idea. The inventor start acting funny. And this says you can pass. Oh, this gotta go back home. This is not good. The breaker hasn't turned off yet. I got the light. 30, 39 amp. This is running. Okay, this is running. The inventor is making noise. It's telling me that. It's, there we go. It shut itself down. Everything shut down, guys. And let me see how long. Let me shut something off. Those people is lying. They're telling you this thing. They're telling you this thing produced 3000 amp. It did reach 3000 amp, but it shut itself off. I think they make a change because I spoke to them about it. They made a change, guys. One minute. It didn't pass, it didn't come close to pass over 3001. I think it did pass 3001. I returned the thing on. I'm at 14 amp. I can't, I can't, I can't have this inverter. Okay. There was a problem on the previous inverter that I had. Let me show you guys. There's a problem on the previous inverter. I will show you the inverter when I get back inside the house. Okay, the inverter that I had, they did not put 3,000 peak, 6,000 peak. This inverter, I think the lights, you saw the amperage. You take the amperage, multiply by the voltage, I give you how many wattage I have here. Okay, this is what we have. And I, it was at 52 volt times, I think, 29 amp. I really don't know what to say, guys. This thing doesn't produce whatever it says it's producing. I do. I did have one like this. I take it all the way to six thousand watt. It didn't work. Okay, guys. My conclusion is I'm not sure this thing produces three thousand uh, to, to three thousand watt. Okay. This this heat gun is 1500. That heater, that heater is 1500. When both of them turn on, <coughs> when both of them turn on, the machine went wacko. Now the voltage, look at the voltage inside here. The AC voltage inside in here. But my battery is very solid. The battery is very solid, so it doesn't give me no hard time. So the battery is correct. Okay, guys, this, this is this is okay. The battery is all right, but my problem I had the problem I have is you can't run both of them at the same time. This this inverter cannot run two two thousand watt. Okay, now this clearly shows it in here. It doesn't. When this thing hit twenty nine. When this thing hit 29, <coughs> it's going to shut down itself. My previous inverter did not do that. When the connection was different, my previous inverter keep on running. Something changed in this inverter. This is not the same inverter that I purchased previously. It's not the same. I'm going to show you guys the difference in the other two inverters. I don't want to open it because I'm about to return this. I don't want to open it. I need a, I'm going to buy a better inverter. This is crap. Compared to the one, the same manufacturer, they change it. All right, let's do the test one more time, guys. I'm going to turn the heat gun again. I start low. And press go higher. Okay. I'm at 22 amp. You can run. Now bring it higher. I reach 30 amp. There we go. I tell you, it shut itself off. Okay. I tell you, it shut itself off. Let's see how long. One minute. 
15 for six that 2,000 watts. It's supposed to be running continuously. Let's see if you shut yourself down, guys. There we go. You shut yourself down. That's the deal I have here. It shut itself down. Okay. It shut itself down. Now I'm going to check the other connection to see if this thing, the, the remote connection, if it works. Turn the light on. Turn this thing off. Turn it back on. The fan will come on. Uh oh. Okay, the light come on, the fan come on, I'm gonna have 15 watts. Now, this is the connection they have there. I'm gonna see if this thing turning off. This is one off. Let's see if it's turning off now. It did it. So I gotta turn it off here. Okay guys, I gotta turn it off here. Let's see if I can turn it on back here. Yes, the remote control looks like it's working. Something changed major in this inverter. This is not the same inverter that we purchased, I purchased before. First about the plug was different. I'll show you guys the differences. And then look at this, this voltage. It's sagging a lot. The other one didn't do that. Something changed because the other inverter, I have a previous video, you guys can double check and then you can check the other video. This thing run the whole house. This thing run the whole house with no issue. It just, I had overloaded. I think it running over 6,000 watt, over 6,000 watt. Then, uh, half of the MOSFETs blown. So this emitter, I'm not sure about this, guys. This doesn't produce 3,000 watts. Uh, I need it for 3,000 watts, at least 2,500 watts. It doesn't. If you take 30 amps times 58 volt or 40, 52 volt, okay? If you go like this, 52 times 30 amps is 1500 watt. 52 times 30 amps is 1500 watt. The other inverter, it did say 3000 watt. It did say that. It did say 2000 watt. It didn't say anything about peak. And guess what happened? I take it over to 6000 watt, then the MOSFET blown. I, I had to really run it to 59, 60,000, 60, 60 amp. I think I was 60 amp out of it. Okay? I think I was 67 amp out of that inverter. At 52 volt times 60, I think 63 amp, something like that. Give it 2,207 watt. This one can even pass 1,500 watt. It barely passed 1,500 watt. And it's 3,000 watt, 6,000 peak. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna return this. Okay, folks? This is the end of the, this video. Is for, uh, unfortunately, I have to return this inverter because it doesn't produce the power that it says it produces. I'll send them the link. They can see it themselves. The damn thing is no good. So they got to return the money. That's a $315 one, $15 money. $315 plus tax. I'm going to box this thing and ship it out.